This is tutorial three. We're going to set up the model now for topology optimization. First thing we need to do is go right click create, then material. This will create a material to be applied to our structure. Uh, I'm going to name it aluminium will do. Um, then we need to make sure that we, uh, or we can choose the color, it just doesn't matter too much, but make sure that the um, card edit material upon creation box is checked and then push uh, create and here we'll add some properties so uh, here under E Young's modulus we'll go 70,000 um, mega pascals this will be I think and Poisson's ratio of 0 0.3 uh, then right click in the side menu click property Name the property non design. Ensure the color matches the color of the non design space. It's not, doesn't really matter, I guess, but just keeps it simple if it's all matching. We can uncheck the box for card edit upon creation and click create. We'll repeat this step for a design property. We'll call it design, change the color to be yellow as well. And create. So right click on the non-design property and select assign. And then click the elements button and select by collector, and then click non design. Click select, then proceed. And that's just put all the elements from the non design space into the non design collector. Then we'll do the same for the design space. And this just enables us to assign different properties and materials to the design or non-design space. So next thing we'll go is select analysis then load steps. We're going to put in, um, we'll call this one static one. This part enables us to apply the SPCs and loads to our structure. Make sure it's linear static then click the box next to uh, SPC and loads and select the equal sign and we'll click the corresponding box so SPC and loads, click loads and create then click analysis, optimization and responses we'll type in here WCOMP because we're going to um, make this response a weighted compliance so select from that drop down menu W comp, uh, then push the load steps button, and we'll select static one, push return, and click create. Now we'll make another response, we'll call it volume fraction and select from the drop down menu like we did before volume frac make sure it says uh, by entity in this menu here and then click properties and we'll only tick the design space because that's all we want to be changing select then click create and return select analysis optimization again and then select D constraints uh, name the response in the box uh, next to the we'll just call it mm, volume fraction then click the response equals button volume fraction obviously 
tick the upper bound box, we'll go for um, 0.25, which means it's only going to use 25% of the material in the optimization in the final what we get at the end. Um, then create and return back. We'll select object, uh, optimization, then objective, and ensure it's set to minimize. Then we'll, we'll click here and select W comp. So basically, as weighted compliance is minimized, the stiffness is increased. So this is going to tell Optistruct to get the stiffest structure for um, the 25% um, using only 25% of the volume. I realized I forgot to click create. So I see it didn't come up on the side menu. So I need to go back into objective um, and click, make sure that's selected, W comp and create return. Okay, so that's now in the side menu, so that means that worked. So next thing we're going to do is click topology um, and type in an appropriate name here, we'll just call this one topo1. Ensure it's P solid and then click props. Select design, so you only want to apply this optimization to the design space, select Click select and then click return. Create then return. Now we're going to tell Opdestruct what we want to see as in the results. So we'll go to um, analysis then control cards. Click global output request. Select displacement and ESE from the side menu here. This will give us the results showing displacement and um, different are uh, the strain and stress values. Okay, click on the format button and go H3D, same on ESE, H3D, so it should look like this, H3D and underneath format, which will give us 3D files to view this in, then click return and then click next twice, go to screen and out, which is selected, click return, then we'll go to analysis and then optistruct, click save as and make sure it's going to save in the right place that you want it to end up in. This is where your files, output files will go. Um, then we'll click this drop down menu, go check, we'll run a check first. Uh, this will make sure there's nothing wrong with the model. Click Optistruct. And that will run through Quick Solver to make sure that the model's set up properly. Nothing worse than waiting half an hour and the model doesn't end up working. That says OK. It's all good to go. So now we just need to change to optimization and then click Optistruct so you can see it's going through the first few iterations already so it shouldn't take too long for the solution to converge I'm just going to leave this playing until it's finished then I'll stop uh, recording the screen and in the next tutorial we'll show you how to view the results in Hyperview.